Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. Oh, boy. Good evening. I didn't know you were still working. Sorry for stopping by so late. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. That's considerate of him. I hope I'm not imposing. I know I already saw you before, but I really wanted to have some time with you today. So I thought I'd stop by on the way home from practice. <laughs> Same here. I had so much I was going to say once I finally got to talk to you. But now that you're here, and I can see your face for myself, none of it seems so important anymore. It's all right. I understand why you did what you did. On another note, I brought you something. It's chocolate, since it's Valentine's Day today. Normally, I'd find that a little melodramatic, but I'm glad to hear it, really. Just checking, but we're back in the real world, right? I wanted to say, Senpai, I... Ever since that day, I've finally been living for myself. As myself. And from now on, I always will. Uh, so, um... May I sit next to you? You're going back to your hometown soon, yes? It's sweet of you to ask. But I'm going to keep working hard. Wherever you are, I'll make sure you hear about me. She always said she performed best when thinking about someone she loved. I think I finally understand Kasumi, what she was trying to say. When I think about you, I get the feeling the competition's going to go just fine. You know what I mean. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Oh! I heard they finally turned you loose. I'm glad you're doing okay. I expected at least a phone call, though. Anyhow, you're free, and that's worth celebrating. I was hoping I'd get a chance to hand this over, so this is good timing. You know how it was Valentine's Day yesterday? It's just a token of my appreciation, so don't go feeling guilty about not getting me anything. How about you consider it a sign of trust from one comrade to another? See ya! Morning! 
We usually don't run into each other here, huh? Oh, yeah. This is for you. I was going to give it to you at school, but as long as we're both here, have some chocolate. You know, for Valentine's Day. As friends. Close friends. I'll be counting on you. Great timing. I was just headed to your classroom. Here, take this. It's chocolate. Think of it as a token of appreciation for all you do for us. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be a big deal. See you again soon, okay? Until today. After all, if you got one from someone special, I wouldn't want to intrude. You always do so much for me. This is the least I could give in return. Of course. We should get coffee again sometime, too. Just let me know when you're free. Oh, I'm glad I got to see you. I'm relieved you're safe. On that note, I have a small gift for the occasion, if you'll accept it. Apparently these days, people give chocolate to friends, even when it's purely platonic. Seems like a fine opportunity to celebrate your return, and express my gratitude. I hope Shogi brings us even closer together. there. I knew you'd be here. Oh, I don't mean I've been watching you. I just read your fortune. Now that that's cleared up, please take this. It's to celebrate your freedom and to say thanks for everything you do. If you ever need my power again, all you have to do is ask. I'll always be happy to help you. Welcome back. I wasn't sure I'd even see you, but I guess this is good timing. Here, take this. Figured you deserved a little appreciation. <laughs> Who knows? Don't get your hopes up. Sounds like you've been through a lot. It's kind of a relief to see you're the same as ever. Remember, I'm pretty close by if you ever come down with something. Call whenever you need to. See you later then. I know it's sudden, but could you watch the store? I gotta head out for a bit. Think you can keep an eye on things? Oh, were you working? Sorry to distract you. I thought I'd stop by on the way home from work, partly so I could give you this. You've done so much for me, after all. I wanted to say thanks. Oh, and I didn't get to say it at work, but welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, right. I whipped up a little study guide for the classwork you missed. It should cover most of the important stuff. If you're still having trouble with any of it, you can always ask me, okay? I'm your teacher. That's my job. Anyway, I'll see you at school. Oh, perfect timing! You got a sec? Cool. I just wanted to give you something. Don't worry, not gonna make it weird. Just, if Sojiro saw, he'd get ideas and start freaking out. So, here you go. A chocolatey gift for my friend and squad mate. If you want to pay me back, I'll take a year's supply of instant noodles. What? You thought I was serious? Relax! It's just a gift from me to you. 
Cause you're my key item, right? And you always will be. Sure you want me hanging around? I, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just... A hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future. And how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility. Get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. On? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. And just short term, I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own, starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college, then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that... a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Marogi's distortion. Would you hold on to this? We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maroki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Oh yeah! 
yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, th that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Everyone eat up! <laughs> Ready for tomorrow? <laughs> White Day. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Hmm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Whoa, the chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her, so you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Uh-huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with a right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kind of last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Uh, wait, what? Oh, damn it. I don't usually do this, but I know a place. Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. Good, you were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant Chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the Chief. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. 
Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang, the chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the day. Think there was a florist in that underground... That should do it. Okay, that comes out to... Hold on, let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so I need to express appreciation for you, too. Good luck! I'm rooting for you! Okay, now you're all ready for the date. You know who you plan on inviting, right? Don't worry, I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. I won't be tagging along. All right, good luck out there. speaking right now of course that's fine I don't have practice today so I'll head over right away see you there oh, there are so many different kinds of fish I'd never have realized just seeing them from a distance. They're all so beautiful. Come to think of it, I remember we had a family trip to an aquarium when I was younger. Kasumi was so excited to see the fish, but apparently I was so scared I cried the whole time. No, maybe because I've got you here, or something like that. Hmm. Um, senpai? If I'm wrong, you can just tell me, but is this a date for White Day? I knew it! I'm so glad I got to spend it with you, Senpai. Since we're on a nice date like this, though, we might as well have fun. Oh, wait! I think this is the end of the exhibit. Thank you for taking me out today. I'll be even more motivated for tomorrow's practice. What? Well, I suppose I'll take you up on that. This restaurant is beautiful. I'm impressed, Senpai. Of course! Oh, right. Inside voices. Sorry about that. Love is so strange. I feel so happy when I'm with my boyfriend, but even tiny failures get me so depressed. As long as I've got you, though, I feel like I can get through anything. Oh, senpai, I'm glad we're on the same level. Um, so to speak. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? Looks like something's happening. Oh, it's gorgeous! What? Thank you! So much! I never saw this coming, but I'm so, so happy! I've never been surprised like this! I keep falling in love with you all over again! I guess you put a lot of effort into this date, but I shouldn't have expected anything less, Senpai. 
You take care of everybody, and you always put their happiness before anything else. But I don't want this to be one-sided. One day, I want to take care of you like you do for me. Though, I guess that might not be for a while. Thank you. It'll definitely happen eventually, so please be patient. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about it. Um, we still have some time left tonight, so... Can I stay with you just a little longer? 